Constance, welcome. Thanks. I'm so glad you came to the Bay Area. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. I'm away from my town. <laughs> Which town do you live in? Fulton. Fulton, Mississippi? Mm -hmm. Well, it's, as a Mississippian, I want to give you a special welcome to the Bay Area. I appreciate it. And we're very proud of you and the work that you're doing. I am especially because it has to do with my home state. Um, I mean, I feel like you should just stand up for yourself. So, you know, I just, I didn't, I didn't expect like all this stuff to, you didn't? to follow with it. Actually, like when we sent the letter, they said, you said they sent letters like that before. And usually the school real, like realizes that they couldn't do that. And then they change it. But my school canceled prom, which made national news, and that made that brought all this on. And you know, there's been so, a lot of bad things, like locally, that I've had to go through. But there's so many great opportunities like this that I've been able to go through mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. of it. So how did you decide to send the letter to ACLU? How did you know to do that? Well, I actually called eventually. I mean, I called when I called them. I called them about my friend, mm -hmm. Juan. He uh, he was he's transgender and he came to our school, moved here from like Indiana or something, and uh, the school told him that he could he couldn't come to school dressed like he was because it was a distraction. Mm -hmm. uh, and we all protested and stuff about it, like a bunch of girls dressed up as boys and stuff, and they said that we had an option to leave, but he had to leave. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, and as soon as that happened, I called the ACLU, I told them about that, and then I told them about my... Your own situation. Right. And then that's when we decided to do something about it. That's very interesting because you were taking care of somebody else's situation or needs, and then suddenly you have your own, mm -hmm. and you knew what to do. Yeah. And I'm thrilled about that. You know, sometimes I think our, my home state hasn't come a long way, but the fact that you knew to do that tells me that... There's a whole new... Well, my mom, uh, she works, or she knows a guy, a professor at USM, mm -hmm. and he uh, he's, a gay, he's a gay rights activist, and uh, he uh, got a hold of me and told me that who, who to get a hold of. Mm -hmm. Exactly, to get a hold of Sarah is actually the first person I ever called at ACLU. Yeah. So you feel like your life has changed a lot? I do. You do? It's completely different than what it was, like 100% different. Are you enjoying it? I enjoy I enjoy parts of it, but I mean there's there's bad things too. Like um, my best friend of seven years hasn't spoke to me since this started. Mm -hmm. You know, I, people I've gone to school with my whole life mm -hmm. won't speak to me anymore. Mm -hmm. Don't want to be seen with me. Yeah, uh, that's a loss. There's there's a lot of things that are bad things, but there's a lot of good things too. Like mm -hmm. I said, a lot of great opportunities have came out of this. Sounds like you have a lot of perspective on it. What? How does your mom feel about all this? Well. Uh, my mom, I don't live with my mom, mm -hmm. uh, I live with my grandmother, and my grandmother is like really, she's spiritual, like she's, yeah. you know, but it, but she, even though she doesn't agree with homosexuality, she realizes it's my choice and she's gonna, uh -huh. you know, it's me, and she's gonna support me for what I do, and she doesn't agree with discrimination of any kind, yeah. and my dad's the same way, he doesn't agree with discrimination, mm -hmm. and my mom's gay, so, yes, yeah. yeah, so, um, you know, th there's no... There's no conflict there. Yeah, wonderful. That's great. Well, I hope you have a great time while you're here. Yeah. And I, you I know, imagine. go ahead. I imagine I will. <laughs> yeah. Do you know about NCLR? Um. A little bit. A little bit. Like I don't know a whole lot about it. Yeah. yeah. You'll you'll experience it tomorrow night, I guess. I think I think it's great to, you know, it's better. I, I feel like it's better to go somewhere and experience things rather than. Um, just read about them on the internet. Sure. What was it like being on the Ellen show? <laughs> Ellen. <laughs> Ellen is great. Ellen's really sweet. Her whole staff is very yeah. sweet. Yeah, and fun. you know, um, she's I know one time I was really upset and I was texting her producer and Ellen uh, got her producer's phone and texted me and told me, you know, she's like, we, even though it's hard, you know, yeah. it, it'll make you stronger and stuff. She gave me, she's very, very nice and it was, it was surreal to meet her. Yeah.